me, I read that someone invented a way to convert your footsteps into electromagnetic energy so you can charge your cell phone while walking. We had that idea years ago. How come we never did anything with it? Probably because we left the diagram of it in the restaurant and none of us wanted to walk back. <laughs> I know the real reason you never made progress with that idea. You thought of it September 22nd, 2007. Two days later, Penny moved in, and so much blood rushed to your genitals, your brain became a ghost town. <laughs> That's not what happened. I remember it distinctly because I had just composed my annual poem commemorating the anniversary of Dr. Seuss's death. No one wants to hear it. Why, die? <laughs> Why did he die? Old told. I was told he was old. Penny is not the reason I didn't pursue that idea. Oh, really? Since meeting her, what have been your greatest accomplishments? Easy. Sleeping with Penny. <laughs> Getting Penny to go back out with him after she dumped him. Tricking Penny into getting engaged. No, and a few weeks ago, he almost did a pull-up. I think someone owes me an apology. Well, don't feel bad. I think we've all been distracted since the girls entered our lives. You admit Amy's a distraction? Oh, very much so. You Listen to this. This is from two days ago. Hi, hope you're having a good day. Who has time for this constant sexting? <laughs> Maybe we have lost our focus. I mean, it wouldn't kill us to get together and brainstorm ideas. Ooh, we could have one of those retreats. Like our own science retreat. My cousin has a cabin out in the woods. No, I'm not going to a cabin in the woods. Did you see the movie Cabin in the Woods? <laughs> then we'll go to a hotel. But a hotel? Did you see The Shining? <laughs> we could go up to Big Bear and get a house on the lake. But did you see the lake house? <laughs> Nothing bad happens in the lake house. Yeah, well, no, not to them, to me. <laughs> time traveling mailbox. Only time that travels an hour and have my life down the toilet. Okay, fine, then we'll just stay here and do it. Well, you didn't suggest a beach house. You would go to a beach house? Well, good Lord, no. Have you seen Jaws? <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, well, we ran into your mom at Benihana last night. Uh. Yep, she loves that place. Every time they flip a shrimp in the air, she practically leaps out of her seat to catch it. <laughs> I mean, it's why I don't take her to SeaWorld. I know you, you don't want to hear it, but she was there with Stuart. That's fine. I don't care. What, it doesn't bug you when they go out on dates? They're not dating. They're just two friends who went out to dinner. And then went back to the home they share, where they probably fell asleep in the matching pajamas she got them because they both just love penguins. <laughs> Lots of people wear matching pajamas who aren't dating. Like who? Like you and your dog. <laughs> Don't rule out the dating. Fine, it bothers me. You happy? You think you've got problems. The gibbon is the only member of the ape family not classified as a great ape. <laughs> How is this helpful? All the non-human apes are classified as great apes except one. That means taxonomists created the entire category of lesser ape just to single out the poor gibbon as the weird kid on the playground. <laughs> now, there's a hairy little fellow with a genuine beef. But the gibbon doesn't know what it's categorized as. It doesn't even know it's called a gibbon. True. Sorry, kids, you got it worse than a gibbon.